Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's so good to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep, a premium in a box mattress company that makes mattresses that fit your needs and preferences. Did you know on average we spend about 40% of our day in bed? 40%. We don't even think about that because we're sleeping, but that is a significant part of our day. So it's so important for that to be comfortable sleep. So I really like that Helix Sleep customizes the mattresses to your needs. So the process is super simple. You take the Helix Sleep quiz and enter your sleep position, your mattress firmness preferences, and a few other questions, and Helix will match you with a mattress. In this case, my boys who are now ages six and eight, it's hard to believe, they have moved up to a full twin mattress. They were in toddler beds and we entered their sleep preferences and Helix matched us with the Midnight Lux. So our kids are stoked. They're so pleased to be in a grown up size bed. They actually look really little in them. <laughs> It's a new chapter for them, no more toddler beds. Helix Sleep will deliver your mattress right to your door and for free if you live within the US. And it comes very conveniently rolled up inside a cardboard box, which makes it really great to maneuver in small spaces and makes it easy to install as well. Like for us, we have a very narrow stairwell, so it was great to be able to move two twin mattresses right up the staircase with relative ease. And all the mattresses come with a 100 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. So if you'd like to try Helix Sleep for yourself, click on the link down below to receive up to $200 off your mattress and receive two free pillows. Big thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. Now today, I'm going to be making pizza, a pizza I've been thinking about for a long time. Now, one of the beautiful things in living in a country that is so large is that we have so many different regions, and that means there are so many very specific regional takes on things like food. I love that specificity. Like only in this tiny little location do they do this this way. I feel like you can learn so much about the culture just from making or tasting or learning about that food. Well, today I'm going to be doing a Detroit style pizza. It's a pizza, we all know pizza, but Detroit does it a little bit differently. Now the history of this pizza is pretty interesting. It was developed in the 20th century. Most people say that it was started in 1946 at a place called Buddy's Rendezvous, which is now called Buddy's Pizza. And it's a pizza style that has a very thick crust, almost focaccia-like, that gets nice and burnt and crispy on the edges and has a layer of cheese and sauce. But the sauce is placed on top. Sometimes pepperoni is added. Now the pizza is cooked in a very specific pan one like this. And it's said that it came from the automotive industry. These were drip pans or pans that held automotive parts. They're actually anodized or blued, which is a process which makes them corrosion resistant, but they're very strong. They're made out of steel and it makes for a very crispy crust. So I picked up one of these. I'll put a link down below to where I found this beautiful pan. It's nice and deep and it has slightly angled walls. So can't wait to make the pizza in this. So I've never had a Detroit style pizza and I'm not traveling these days. So I wanted a recipe that I felt was really well researched. And so I went to Serious Eats and this recipe is by Kenji Lopez Alt. I'll put a link down below to the original. I love his recipes because they're very, very thorough and very well researched. And I trust his recipes based on my past experience. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's go ahead and get started. Our dough needs to rest for a couple hours, so I went ahead and made the dough already. You're gonna take 300 grams of bread flour. Now this is really important. Bread flour has higher amounts of gluten, which will make for a chewier crust, which we want. So take 300 grams of bread flour, combine it with five grams of instant yeast and nine grams of kosher salt. Give this a little bit of a mix and then add 220 grams of water. Mix that together until you have a kind of rough and shaggy dough, and then form that into a ball. Place that back into the bowl and allow it to rest covered for 10 minutes. We want the flour to really hydrate because next we're going to knead it. So I'm doing this all by hand to show you you don't need any special equipment, but Kenji does have instructions for both a food processor and a stand mixer. So next we're gonna take this very sticky and wet dough and knead it on your countertop for 10 minutes. Now this is a very wet dough. Don't be tempted to add a bunch of flour to it. It's supposed to be wet and as you develop the gluten, it will become less sticky. So just keep kneading it, pulling it, slapping it onto the counter, stretching it for the full 10 minutes and you'll see that it gets less sticky and the dough will become more supple and more smooth in texture. 
Place your dough ball into an oiled bowl, put a little bit of oil on the top of the dough as well, and then cover this and wait for two hours or until the dough has doubled. And here's what it looks like after two hours of resting. Look how poofy it is. So in our beautiful pan, we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. So this will help form that beautiful, crispy crust. We're gonna take our dough, plop it in there, and then turn it so it has this beautiful oil all over it. And this will also help distribute the oil over the pan. Now we're just going to press it out into the corners. We're gonna let this dough rest for about half an hour and then we're gonna stretch it again before we top it. So while we're waiting for our dough to rest, we're gonna go ahead and make our sauce. A large saucepan and add two tablespoons of olive oil, three medium cloves of garlic minced, two teaspoons of dried oregano, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, a little pinch of red pepper flakes, one tablespoon of sugar, and one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. You're gonna stir this all together, bring it up to a boil, reduce to a low simmer, and cook for 30 minutes or until the sauce reduces down to three cups. So here's the sauce, and it's beautiful. Look how thick and gorgeous it is. Now Detroit style pizza uses a very specific type of cheese that comes from Wisconsin, and it's called brick cheese. You can actually order it online. I'll put a link down below where I found it. So what we're gonna do is take 12 ounces or 340 grams of brick cheese and cut it up into half inch cubes. So I'm gonna be making a pepperoni style pizza today. So I took a pepperoni stick and sliced it into eighth inch slices. So here's our pepperoni and our cheese. Let's give the brick cheese a taste. It's got a very creamy texture to it and flavor. It actually reminds me of Monterey Jack, both in texture and flavor. I was expecting it to be more like mozzarella, but it's a little bit more creamier than mozzarella, and it's not as chewy or bouncy as mozzarella. Interesting. So I'm gonna stretch the dough out a little bit more into the corners. Similar to my pourable pizza, we're gonna add the meat on first. So put on your pepperoni, because the pepperoni will transfer its flavor into the dough. That's what I read. My youngest child who is really into math and shapes, would love the uniformity of this pizza. <laughs> Next, we're gonna add our brick cheese, and we're gonna add all of this, and Kenji says specifically to make sure that it gets to the edges, because that's part of the signature of this pizza, is that it gets crispy and bubbly on the edges. Also, what's signature is that it's supposed to get a little bit charred on the edges. It's supposed to be a little bit black. We're only gonna use half of our sauce, and we're gonna make three rows of this. Alrighty, now I'm gonna pop this into a scorching hot oven and bake it for 12 to 15 minutes until everything is bubbly, melted, and cooked. Okay, see a little bit. Ooh, this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> It looks absolutely fantastic and smells it too. Can't wait to tuck into this now. Oh, look at this. <gasps> Did you hear that scratching of the pan on the bottom of that crust? <sighs> ah, this is gonna be so good. All right, this is traditionally served in squares because this is a rectangular pizza. Look at that crust. <gasps> that looks amazing. So hot and steamy. My pizza's thick. Look at that. That looks so good. Look at that. So wicked hot. This looks phenomenal. 
so, so hot and thick. The crumb looks amazing, great big bubbles. This is gonna burn the roof of my mouth, but it's gonna be great. Alrighty, here we go. Itadakimasu. That is some good, good pizza. Oh my gosh. Mm. The tomato sauce is so tangy and rich and saucy and it's thick. Even the sauce is thick. The crust is fantastic. We used all that olive oil so the bottom has this beautiful golden crust, but the center of the crust is fluffy and chewy and fantastic. And this is coming from a person that is not a crust person. When I was a kid, I would always give the crust of the pizza to my mom who loved them. This is outstanding. Focaccia like is a very good way to describe it. Fluffy and chewy and it absorbs all of the oil from the cheese and mm. oh. the edges are outstanding. They have the ultimate Christmas, a little bit of that charredness. The cheese takes on this really concentrated cheese flavor and delightful crispy texture. And then we get these beautiful pepperoni cups. That's one of the benefits of using pepperoni that you slice yourself and has a natural casing. You'll get this lovely cupping. Ugh. Definitely one of the best pizzas I've ever had, for sure. Highly recommend this recipe, absolutely sublime. Great little weekend pizza project because it does take a couple hours to develop the dough, but so, so very worth it. Thanks so much for joining me and big thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to learn how you can receive up to $200 off and two free pillows with your Helix Sleep mattress, click the link down below. Thanks again, my lovelies. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. It's a delivery time! <laughs>